I said this year, I'm not gonna be afraid of being seen trying, and I'm not. And that's on period. Y'all gonna see me trying all the time because if don't nobody else show up for me, who gonna show up for me? God, you call me by my name. But yeah, that's really what's been going on. Like, it's a lot. No longer blood I can I'm on my way. Celsius and I've been trying to buy coffee and coffee more expensive than Celsius so I just need to get my Celsius for this week because when I come back I actually have a lot of content to shoot for like TikTok shop and like companies and UDC and stuff like that um so yeah we are about to go to Target I need to get some oat milk and I need to get some Celsius I have this set of um it's basically poly gel i've done poly gel a couple times but i've never done any content on it it's clear poly gel so it's like clear butterfly looking nails and i'm doing a video for tiktok shop um so i'm excited i just know that your girl be y'all don't look at jack p pad <laughs> your girl be picky about her nails so i feel like if I do them and I don't like them that much, then I'm gonna have to reshoot all the content. So I'm a little nervous. It's my first nail content, but yeah. So I'm gonna get this stuff and come back. I'm hungry too. I'm gonna have to get me something to eat. Like, ugh, I'm hungry. But yeah, that's what we're about to do right now. Outfit for today it's a hoodie and leggings per usual with some Uggs. <laughs> I need to actually start getting dressed, but this is really just a quick run for real. And honestly, y'all, I'm in the process of like, getting new clothes because I gained weight and I really haven't shop shop since I gained weight so yeah 
But anyway, real quick, I need to get some oat milk. And we be getting the oatly kind. I like Khalifa too, but recently we've been getting the oatly kind. And I'm trying to see if it's cheaper at Kroger or Target because Kroger be really overpricing. I don't think the girls really realize how bad Kroger be overpricing. Like the other day, the passion tea that I like by Tazo, I was going to get that from um, Target and they have it for I think $3.99 or something. I went to Kroger, they had it for $5.29 and they had it on sale for $3.50, but it was only a sale thing. It's typically $5.29. That's a whole dollar and like 50 cents. Like, it's all for real. And y'all been talking about Target. How y'all prices worse than Target? So now I have to double check. And some of the household items too there is cheaper at Target. I'm like. <sighs> and then sometimes I just go to Walmart when I'm feeling real bold. <laughs> but I'm like, hold up now. That's actually crazy, especially for tea. Like, how y'all overpricing tea? Y'all are the grocery store. So let's see, oat milk. Okay, the Oatly full fat oat milk is $5.79 at Kroger. And then Target full fat. Yeah, see, this is the perfect example. Look, four ninety nine at Target, five seventy nine at Kroger. Like, bro, be so for real. Y'all can't call Target bougie no more. Y'all shop at Kroger. But yeah, I also got an order. It's dark down here. I got an order for my business, which I haven't been super active on because life. But I got an order. I think I might pack that tomorrow because I just got it. So I'm like on time. I'm also expecting some packages from TikTok shop. This is only my second um, order from TikTok shop. I know it sound, seemed like I'm ordering a lot, but I just basically didn't post <laughs> that last one for months. <laughs> like months. I think I ordered that stuff in December. I know it's dark down here. Um... But yes, I don't know if I'm doing another TikTok shot haul, but I got a lot of that stuff because it's really cheap and also I need it and also it gives me things too. Like my camera's really struggling down here. Ooh, that's worse. It give me it gives me things to shoot content with, basically. I bought this <laughs> little tree. Okay, when y'all use these, do y'all actually do the thing where it say like pull the plastic off or y'all just rip it out the plastic? You be acting brand new. I just want to know. Anyway, I got this little air, air freshener here, and I swear I feel like I don't wash my car for real. And I'm like, baby, it's still lint and dust in here. The outside of the car is still dirty. Like, I'm really playing mind games with myself. I really just need a car wash. I be here sneezing, and I wonder why. Like, girl. I just remembered that my key fob said the battery was dying. Where am I supposed to get the battery for the key fob for? Like, I have two keys, but I think both of the batteries are dying. Like, um... What we, are they expensive? I feel like they about to be like $200. Like, I'm kind of stressed out. I don't even want to look it up because at this point, like, we just gonna have to stick the key in the glove compartment. So these flavors that I'm getting for Celsius, I haven't seen in any other store but Target, so I'm gonna need the other stores to get them. The galaxy one but they don't have them so i'm sad so i got the oasis instead which is good so yeah i'm sad but y'all should try the galaxy kind i think it's like watermelon and strawberry um for that if you're a celsius girly and then 
They actually have the tea today, but I'm good on tea. So I'm gonna just get this oatmeal and we're gonna get out of here because I'm getting anxious because people are gonna make. But it's actually not that many people in here today, which is good because I'm looking a mess. My business. Yeah. posted this on my instagram story but i didn't realize they had simply modern in here i have this one because my friend gave it to me as a present but i really like this color so much bags say hey to the vlog say hi <laughs> say i say i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i I had to pick Jack up and get him love when I first get home because he be, if not, he gonna get in his bed and he be pound like, how you not gonna acknowledge me? I just got an email that I have packages in the office, but I looked at my TikTok shop and I saw some of them are delivered and some say deliver today and they all say USPS. I just wanna know, why, why, when did USPS stop delivering to their doors? I just, I just need to be delivered to the door. I've been having, it's so many times I've been having stuff for content and I have to like leave the house to go to the office to get a package that you could have brought to my door. Amazon got me spoiled. But anyway, I saw that a bunch of the other stuff in the package said they'll be delivered today. And I saw that the post person is still over there. So I think they're gonna put some of that stuff into my like box or into like a key box. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just give it a little bit. Um, yeah. Cause I need to go out in about 30 minutes anyway. So I'm like, this went from like a Go get some stuff from Target to like an errand day. It's already 10.30. The day be just going. The day just be going. But yeah, I've been killing it with the content. I've been pushing out a lot of content. So I had I did a, um, some content yesterday about a Bible study guide, which I love that thing. I really hope that people see the value in it from the video I put on TikTok shop. Um, I got this new micro exfoliator, which I'm making content for that company for TikTok shop. And this, I like it. It feels like sandpaper. Like, I feel like it really be exfoliating. Um, what else? I got a book over there. I got my first UGC gig on Fiverr. And I got a book over there. I'm doing UGC for this week. I'm excited. I'm going to get into that tomorrow. I think I'm going to write the script and stuff today. Or well, tomorrow. I can't, I'm really bad at putting too much stuff into one day. So, I might do the... All the nail stuff today, finish that because that's due actually today or tomorrow, that video. And then I think I'm gonna write the script for the UGC book, UGC tomorrow, and do it tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds about right. And then there's some other things I want to improve on my portfolio. So I need to like shoot some content, shoot some pictures and stuff like that. I have a whole mood board for like all the different type of content that I want to create for like my Pinterest, my Instagram, UGC portfolio and things like that. I'm really taking it really seriously. So I really hope it pays off. Um, the list just goes and goes and goes. In the midst of that, I'm applying for new jobs because your girl trying to find where she's supposed to be because it, you know, I'm just trying to find where I'm supposed to be is all I'm going to say. Um, but yeah, the book, and then these are the mushroom. Mo mushroom complete is what it is. I'm shooting content. I think they only wanted me to do a story, but I might just do a, a um, reel. I typically do that when I'm trying to like forge partnerships and stuff like that. 
Um, so it says immunity, brand, and energy, but it has like the cordyceps, the reishi, shiitake, and lion's mane, and then it has some other type of mushrooms in it. And I heard this is really good for like focus and balance and just your body in general. I'm very much into like the holistic, like herbal approach to like things, especially with me having PCOS or PIGOS. I say PIGOS if y'all don't like it, I don't care. <laughs> Let me stop. But yeah, um, I've been to my herbal, you know, supplement grind. So that and then the person did like hire me for UGC for this book which makes me so happy because it actually aligns very well with my current journey it's called when to walk how to leave behind the past healing from toxic relationships like like and I ain't got posted on my socials but you know I might make a variation for it for my socials so this is why I'm like always busy because there's just always so much stuff that I want to do because I just feel like my portfolio and stuff I'm working on and you know what I have is not where I want it to be and the only way to get it to where I want to be is to put the work in so I'm putting the work in now but yeah so that's these are things I'm working on this week or in the next two days and then I'll probably give myself a day off because I'm gonna be burnt out I'm gonna be so burnt out you know we're trying to go out here and then it's gonna be cold and you're gonna come right back okay 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 sassy sassy Y'all, look how pathetic my fridge is. Ginger ale, crumble, and vibes. That's it. Honestly, though, it's only this bad because I just cleaned it out recently, but we gotta do better than this. But I'm gonna put these Celsius in here. So it's about to be ginger ale, crumble, and Celsius. And vibes. And oat milk. Can't forget the oat milk. Yeah. All right, so I have one of my friends got me this as a gift. Thank you, Jay. I've been using them. I've been putting my ginger ale in them and like other stuff in the house. Anyways, I have, I have one left, excuse me. This one is broken. It was like, some of them were broke when I got it, unfortunately, but yeah. Playing my dog. In the house or out the house? Feeling like a mama, for real. Okay, so I'm gonna see how many Celsius I can fit in here, basically, and I'm gonna put them in the fridge. Who got that? Oasis. I think I'll be able to fit them all. Got the cosmic, which is the fruit punch. I'm actually going to drink one of these. I don't know which one, but I'm going to put them in the fridge for now. Yep, they fit. These are so thin compared to like regular. And it just makes it easier. So let's put these in the fridge. So we're just going to for now and then once I get more stuff yeah we'll rearrange I usually have these stacked on top of each other down here actually to save space but since there's nothing in here right now this is our little aesthetic vibe right now okay let people do y'all be still keeping y'all bags because I do you know what I use them for when Jack shits I put his pee pad in this bag tie it up and put it in the trash can so it won't make it stink but yeah we do look I actually posted about this on my Instagram story. So if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? Okay, I know I got a lot of Instagrams. But I'm talking about my lifestyle Instagram. The only reason I have multiple Instagram is because the cosplay one felt so niche down that I couldn't post my girly, I just want to be a girl and be healing and stuff type content. And yes, the book under my bed. Just to mind your business. Okay, this is the book. It's not supposed to be this way. Finding Unexpected Strength When Disappointments Leave You Shattered by Lisa Turkhorst, I think. In my battery about to die. But yeah, this is my first book. I actually bought three books. Your girl gonna start reading more. So, who y'all might see that in my content. I'm tired because I ran up the steps and this battery about to die. But yeah, that's it for now. I love y'all. I'm, I'm gonna come back when I'm doing something else, okay? Ooh, also, something else I got recently. Okay, and I know it seemed like I'm like buying a lot of stuff. But a lot of this stuff is gifted or samples and stuff. I did buy this though off of Amazon. Um, because I just need this for like content. And I'm gonna write it off. Okay, so I bought this. It's like the thing that has the light and the holder and suction cups to the mirror. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get it off though. I ain't think about that. But anyways, it has the light settings back here. And you can do warm, cool, or mixed. And then you can turn it up pretty high. Like, look how bright this gets. It helps with, like, any kind of skincare in the bathroom. 
content. I know they also have one of these for like the vlogging cameras, but I ain't that advanced yet, y'all. I just got what I needed at the moment because the ones for the cameras are expensive. But I'll show you. It's pretty good. It's giving like kind of, don't be looking at my waist, y'all, I know. It's kind of giving um, those little selfie Earl light or whatever y'all are calling them on TikTok shop. And let me turn it off and turn it back on. So yeah, I got this for my phone so I can just have my phone up here and um, not have to try to figure that out. Because the reason I don't do a lot of bathroom content is because of that. Because I haven't even put my phone on. I really don't have a lot of small tripods and stuff like this. I actually got this tripod when I got this camera. Um, so it's things that I just needed. But I just want to tell you about that. If you're struggling with that, get you one of those. And they might have one on TikTok shop for cheaper because TikTok shop is like AliExpress at that point. I'm just saying, except they come faster because yeah, I think it'd be taking like a week, maybe. But those of you that do follow me on um, Instagram, look at their lip hair. Literally, I just shaved it again. It grew back in a week. It's been three more days, look. Pico, oh, PCOS, I'm so tired. Oh, I am just a girl. I am just a girl. I just, I'm just a girl that wants a regular period. I want my hair, body hair to go at a normal range. I want to be fertile. I want to just feel normal. PCOS is so rough. So that's another update. I've been including it more into my content because it's like a large part of who I am right now in this moment in time. And I don't see a lot of people talking about it. So I'm like, yeah, y'all gonna see more of that. Um, so. I actually think I'm going to start like a living with PCOS type thing on my vlogs. Um, it's like everyday regular living, but you know, sometimes we're going to be talking about things I'm doing too. Um, why is my camera doing that? Things I'm doing to like deal with that or handle that or just like the mental aspects of just, yeah, what you got to go through and stuff like that. So y'all going to see more of that too. I'm very chatty today and I was just thinking, mm, I'm not going to vlog because I'm sad. <laughs> and I'm just chatty, 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 chatty. Say hero, 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 hero. Every time I bring him in his bathroom, he think he about to get a bath. He do not like baths. Oh, and I just got a partnership, a UGC partnership for a dog brand. So Jack is gonna get a new tree and he's gonna be shooting some content with me probably next week. So I'm excited about that. We're getting a little progress. I wish it was a little faster, but God told me to trust his timing. So I'm trying to trust God's timing. And I really struggle with that because we see everything moving at such a fast speed, especially on the internet. Hey baby, you wanna kick it? Nah. Nah. <laughs> and you just want everything so quickly. Um, or you might be like in a very like, you know, a, like tough spot. So it's like, with me, I'm typically in like a tough spot and I'm like working really hard and I don't see it. And I'm just like, God, am I supposed to be doing this? And I have been praying and praying and praying for clarity. And I feel like I'm meant to create content in some form or fashion. I don't necessarily know if it's UTC, content creator, influencer, or a mix of all of those. But right now I am utilizing all of my um, different platforms. I'm utilizing all the different types of content I make and I'm trying to see what sticks because I feel like that will be how God will show me, I think. So, I do feel like I'm made for this. I'm supposed to be doing this. And, yeah, so that's why y'all see me everywhere, posting everywhere. Like, I, yeah, I, I said this year, I'm not going to be afraid of being seen trying. And I'm not. And that's on period. Y'all going to see me trying all the time. Because if don't nobody else show up for me, who's going to show up for me? I got to show up for myself. Right? If I don't show up for myself, who's going to show up for me? exactly if you don't show up for yourself who gonna show up for you maybe some people but you still should show up for yourself that's the point of it um what else so yeah i'm all over the place i'm really trying to find my like community and stuff like that like with cosplay i found a community but it's very niched down I, my issue with my cosplay community and just page in general is that People are there only for that. Even though they say they're not, they are. Like a lot of people are like, no, well, like whatever you post, but when you post other stuff, it just does not do well. They don't engage. They don't really be feeling it. Um, so I just want it to be 
genuinely me like yes i cosplay yes i have a business yes i'm healing yes i like to do skincare but i'm b and i do me so that's really what i want to do but since it seems like they cannot coexist in the same area i have separated them um but it's essentially the same me you know what i mean um what else that was a lot of updates so this is the vlog Cause I'm trying to figure out if I want to do long or short vlogs because since my um, YouTube is smaller, I don't feel like people really want to watch <laughs> a long vlog. So yeah, just trying to figure it out, developing my strategy. It's February, it's never, never too late. And y'all, I still haven't even done my um, vision board. Um, but I'm getting a lot of stuff knocked out this month, so I am proud of that. But yeah, that's really what's been going on. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot, but I'm just trying to get my shit together, basically, and be my best self and be like, when I look at my content, like I did that and be 100% proud of it and know that I gave my 100% best. Even if I see people on the internet barely giving anything and still getting a lot from it, I just don't need to focus on that. I need to focus on what I'm doing, and then if I don't want to give a lot, then that is what it is, but what is for B is for B, you know, and that's really all we can do, so... My current struggle is just being patient and just waiting on God to move and trusting. I trust in him, but sometimes I put my hand on things a lot. Too much. Too much. And it's hard to tell when you put your, things, your hand on things too much or if you just genuinely put in the work in. Like, it's a difference between putting the work in and trying to control things. And for me, I have a hard time trying to figure out where I need to be at that. I sway a little too close to like trying to control it. But in my head, I really just be trying to make sure I give my hundred best. But then I thought about it, I'm like, realistically, God could do it either way, no matter how much work I put in. Not saying I shouldn't put in work, but he can do it. So yeah, this is what my inner monologue will be about. And now y'all hearing it. And I'm going to have to edit all of this out. A lot of this out, watch. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I'm going to stop talking now. Thanks, girl. Thanks, thanks for listening. I appreciate you. You a real one. Yeah, come on. Being a good baby, yeah. You gonna go out the window over there? I let it down. Yeah, you're being a good baby. You're being a Okay, yeah, here go the packages. I don't want to put them on my counter because they're probably nasty. Actually, it includes this one, so. Whew. Here go all the packages. We're going to take it all out. I don't know if I'm going to put it in this vlog, but yeah, we got the packages. We secured them.
concise and straight to the point. God, you call me by my name. So I forgot to tell y'all, I found a new vlogger I watch a lot and her name is Amani Rakia. Oh my gosh, I've been binge watching her channel. It's such like, so, ref so refreshing to watch. And it's like her series of like living alone diaries. But this one is so touching because she was talking about how she's at this place where she can finally like live life the way she want to. In this vlog, she went to Colorado and she was just saying she's so happy because she's actually enjoying oh life. Like, this is what I want for. I wanna, I wanna enjoy life, I wanna feel like I'm living life. I really don't feel like I've lived life. And it made me tear up because I'm happy for her and I could just really relate to like realizing like, dang, there's so much stuff to do and you haven't done it yet. And I can relate to that so much. And it's like, I worked so hard to have this moment and it's so nice to see somebody else having this moment. And for some reason it kind of gives you hope and I don't know, it's just refreshing. You know, outside of just like luxury and other stuff that be going on on YouTube and stuff, it's nice to see something different. And I've been binge watching you, girl. You probably not gonna see this, but I've been binge watching you. I love your content. In other news, I'm basically almost done my nails. They turned out pretty good. I do think I made um, the lighting over here is not the best. I do think I made the bottom. Can you focus, camera? I made the bottom, the underneath a little too thick. So it's like having a, it's taking a long time to dry or whatever you call it. And then these, I just did, I'm finna shape them to make them a little bit more, you know, like the same shape. Then I'm done. I'm about to go eat. I'm so hungry. And I just posted a video.